decided to buy a cart for Teddy. I bought a sort of um, cheap looking cart that needed doing up and I've been teaching him how to pull it. Um, he has before this pulled all sorts of different things but I thought it was finally time to get him the right equipment. So we have a lovely leather harness from Mini Horse Shop which we already had and I thought it was about time that we got him a cart so that we can actually teach him how to drive. Um, and I noticed that there weren't many videos of how to teach a Shetland pony how to drive on YouTube so we decided to do some videoing and we hope you enjoy it. It might be worth adding that it's literally been arctic recently. It's been snowing and there's been icicles hanging from trees and the ground's been rock solid so the ponies haven't actually been able to get out very much but it's been really useful um, having this cart because obviously where I am an adult I can't ride Teddy. Um, so this is a really good way of... <laughs> just opening the gate to free himself this is a really good way of exercising him and he actually has really taken to it really really well um he is pretty unflappable to be honest in most things so i did think that he would take to it well but he's probably taken to it even better than i thought and um it's lots of fun and you get lots of funny looks with a with a blonde golden retriever like pony running towards you pulling a cart but it is keeping his waistline nice and trim and yeah he's having lots of fun so stay tuned this video will include um, the sort of steps I have taken to teach him how to pull the cart and um, and sort of his equipment and how I hook him up to it and stuff so yeah hope you enjoy Yes, I actually look like the Michelin man. I think I've got about five layers on, um, including two really thick coats. So, uh, yeah, if you think I'm looking a little round, that is why. Hey, Albert. And that leads quite nicely onto his horsewear wish for 2021, which, as you can see, is to get a six pack. Um, Teddy obviously always has aspirations to be the fittest, most um, attractive looking mini floof that he can be. So to get a six pack is definitely one of his goals for this year. Um, maybe with the cart pulling it is actually doable. <laughs> um, so watch this space. So this is the cart, it's very basic as I said and it probably, it needs a paint because um, it's a little bit flaky in the paint department but nothing we can't fix and I'm going to obviously um, sort out the backrest and um, a few other things but it's perfectly functional, um, Rusty doesn't like it very much. Uh, actually that's a lie, Rusty loves it, he has been in lots of different trips in it and sits next to us on the seat which is quite cute but yeah it was a bargain and um, I'll probably get a nicer one once I know that he can actually, well now I know that he can actually pull a cart but there's no point in spending loads of money on one if um, he didn't like it so you went for this one and it is really quite handy. So here she is pulling the cart. As you can see she's demonstrating it's quite light. Um, actually, she's lost the plot. <laughs> As 
actually I find it's quite, um, it's quite good at carrying stuff. For example, it's currently carrying a box of Teddy's brand new stickers, which we're about to show you. Do you want to get in that? And also, um, it's quite it's quite light, isn't it? Mm. It's a lot lighter than um, I thought. You actually have to push it down rather than like lift it up to mm. pull it. It's not. I thought it would be really heavy for this. Um, so I'm just not. going to get in the back and go for a ride by my uh, being pulled yeah, by my sister. My We're just cleaning out the garage, so ignore the Whee! background. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like a teacup. Oh my gosh, it's like Thought Park. <laughs> you so helpful, thank you. <laughs> right, okay, well that's that. What do you think of the cart? Love it, love it. Such a great workout as well for anyone wanting to find their abs this summer. <laughs> so good. Right, okay. Off you go. Molly out. So I mentioned Teddy merch. You can see his logo here on his back in sticker form. His logo was made by Eleanor Tomlinson and we got these stickers from a company called Sticker Mule. And you can see this one's really shiny, it's quite cool. Um, this is a mailer which will contain be confirmed <laughs> and there we go the first big reveal of Teddy's um, logo collection this is a car sticker which is quite cool um, super cute design so the first bit of Ted's cart driving equipment is his beautiful tiny bridle so it's a brown bridle made by Elevator Equestrian and it's really beautifully made. Um, it's handmade and it's basically like a big horse's bridle in tiny form. It even has the brass clencher brow band and you can see his bit, his gold bit is from Noi Schuler bits and it's the tiniest um, size that they do in a snaffle. Um, and he's obviously used to the bit because he has been ridden. Um, for a year and a bit so that is something he didn't need to get used to but it's very beautiful nevertheless and it goes perfectly with his harness so this is the bridle that he wore in his famous photo shoot um, where he was on the news grazing on the Royal Windsor lawns with Allegro which was pretty special it was very smart and he wore little white dressage bandages too which made him look adorable so nice to have a bridle that actually fits him perfectly so that is that and obviously for cart pulling we don't have normal length reins so I normally keep them off until the last minute so his actual harness from mini horse shop looks like this it's brown again to match his bridle and it's really smart it's leather um so i mean i can't exactly say that i'm a pro horse driver so i'm sure there will be people that do this slightly differently but the way i put it on i um have purely taught myself by watching videos and looking at photos but basically it goes over his head albert's about to disrupt the filming how we get back it goes over his head um, this bit goes over his head it's got a sir single that goes around the middle this bit sits here um, we had to put extra holes in it because he's so small that it was a bit big for him when we first got it. So we actually used a drill to put holes in it because the leather's so thick. Um, so yeah, I just place it over his head and then um, I'm going to turn him around so you can see the side. These straps are called the trace straps and can be secured on this little metal um, twirly bit at the top and then I will do up the 
also a single girth around his tummy. So I put his harness on and I can show you all the little bits. So obviously this is his bridle, which I showed you. Thank you, Teddy, snort. This bit goes over his head. So it's the very first bit that goes on. And the reins, when I put them on in a minute, will feed through here and then attach to his little bit rings there. Um, these are the trace straps, which attach to the cart um, we have safety attachments just in case of um, the needing to be let go of quickly so the final thing that we have to do now is to put the reins on and obviously they're way longer than a normal rein and they come in two parts so as I said they feed through here and attach to his bit loop Obviously, be careful of loose bits on the floor. So before Teddy was able to pull anything, even a tyre, I wanted to make sure he understood the basics. So he basically needed to be able to walk, stop, turn left and turn right on command. And that is very different um, when someone is standing behind you compared to when someone is sitting on you. Um, and obviously where Teddy's so little, he's often only led when children ride him. So it was really important to me that he learnt um, properly the basics. So to do this, you can either use a driving harness like I'm doing, if you have one and if that's your end goal, um, and use the reins, which are quite long. This obviously wouldn't be possible with a big horse, but where Teddy's a tiny pony, I can obviously use the um, driving reins fairly easily um, without being too close to his back legs, because obviously it's really important you're not right close to their back legs because um, even the best of horses when they're learning new things could potentially be unpredictable so you just want to be out of the firing line um, not that Teddy has ever kicked anyone or anything in his life um, but with a big horse you can potentially um, use two lunge lines instead um, and you can um, thread the lunge lines through the stirrups on each side um, so that they don't trail on the floor or you can use a um, sur single um, um, that you'd normally attach sort of side reins or something to for lunging and thread the lunge lines through that instead so that you're sort of mimicking um, a driving harness situation so it's a bit hard filming but basically I've just told him to walk on um, I'm going to tell him to halt in a minute Teddy stand just by gently pulling on the reins as if you would do if you're riding obviously you want to make sure they're straight it's slightly hard because I've only got one hand whereas normally you'd have one rein in each hand but stand good boy so he needs to be able to stand and then he needs to be able to turn left Let's see if I can do this one handed then. boy so that's the basics that I taught him before learning to pull anything um, sorry there's quite a lot of mess around because we're clearing out our garage currently we've got so much stuff from over the years but stand hopefully that shows the sort of things I've taught him so where Teddy's basically unflappable when we've learned him um, and we've taught him not to respond or worry or be stressed with any sort of situation. It was quite hard to actually tell him and teach him to move off when you sort of gave a cue. So I've tried to use voice commands rather than some people might carry a whip, but Teddy wouldn't absolutely wouldn't be scared of that at all because he just um, is so unflappable. So I just use voice commands Walk on. and clicks. Very tempting to eat that grass, but you're a good boy. So I'm now going to show you how I attach the cart to Teddy. So these bits are the 
the cart just feed into these rings which support it. Um, I'm going to place the rings on the cart itself. And I can attach the straps to these safety release clips. So you can see the tray straps are attached to these um, quick release clips. So if something was to happen, um, and this was to be put under pressure, they just click open like that and the cart would be free. So this is the whole setup. There he is, looking angelic as usual. I actually found this cart by putting an advert on a page called Dinky Driving and someone messaged me and said that they had a project car for sale which was perfect for me because I didn't really know if it was something that I'd really get into so I didn't want to spend loads of money on something that I didn't ever use so this was the ideal find so ponies can actually pull 200% of their body weight and um, that means that he is obviously more than capable of pulling either Rusty or me um, because he's 100 kilos so that means he can actually pull over um, 200 kilos if he's over 100 kilos um, and obviously I'm nowhere near um, 200 kilos so he finds it really easy and um, yeah honestly I picked it up myself and towed Molly in it and it's really much lighter than you think very sweet brothers aren't you so when i first taught teddy to pull this car i obviously um didn't just jump in and expect him to do it exactly perfectly the first time so i attached the cart and i literally just walked next to him like i am now um you can see rusty 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 is enjoying his ride with his best friend ted's um and once I was happy that he was doing it fine with me walking next to him, I then got someone to walk next to me whilst I sat in the cart. Um, so that was sort of the next step. As you can see now, he's fairly focused. He's just taking Rusty for a ride. Rusty, hello. Come on, Ted. Come on. Good boy. No, look away from the grass. Good boy. Resist. Resist. So then obviously once I was happy that he was um, comfortable with the cart because it's a little bit noisy, um, I could then sit in the cart with my sister leading me. Um, so he could just she could just be there in case he has a panic which he didn't because he is not panicky um, nothing makes him panic at all which is so nice um, and then once I'd done all of that I could then be at least by myself which is what I'm doing today the main thing when you're teaching a horse anything new is that you have to just give them so much praise so I had to tell Teddy that he is basically, well he was, but I had to emphasise to him that he is the cleverest pony in the world and I was so pleased with what he was doing. Um, and then obviously if they have praise, they're going to enjoy doing it and they're going to want to do it well. Um, there's no point in getting stressed, they're not going to learn something new um, within the space of 10 seconds. So yeah, the main thing I would say is just make sure you use so much praise and you do things in little steps so until they're comfortable doing the easiest step so until for example um teddy was comfortable pulling a tire or until he was comfortable um long reining i wouldn't go to the next step so i wouldn't even dream of attaching a cart to him until i thought he was com comfortable with the step before um 
So yeah, that's really important. We've encountered a vehicle. Okay. Still going strong there. Looking very pro. How many times has he been in the cart now? Probably like four. So He's such a quick learner. Oh, there's a car coming. Okay, show me a show me a truck. Oh, I'm trying to. Behind the camera is a woman flat out. Running. Yeah. Rusty's got the wind in his ears. Yeah, so cold. Let me just give you a front angle shot. Oh god, look! He's really going for it. I have to run backwards. This is hilarious. So many cars have passed, being like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> 